In this lecture, I'll try to make you understand that whether two events are simultaneous or not, that is relative. Relative with respect to the position of the observer. Again, it is relative with respect to the motion of the observer. So, in this lecture, <coughs> I am trying to give you one simple thought experiment where the observer say for example there are three observers three number of observer, observers are there you take one reference frame say the surface of the earth and the two events are separated by some distance. Okay. The two events are separated by some distance. Events are what? Say, flash of a bulb. That is the event. So, just for example, you assume that the position of the bulbs are separated by a distance of 3 million kilometer, means 30 lakh kilometer. And you know that the speed of light is 3 lakh kilometer per second. Name of the bulbs are given by A and B. So from bulb A, the emitted light will reach to bulb B after how much time? It is after 10 second because speed of the light is 3 kilometer per second and distance between them is 30 lakh kilometer that is 3 million kilometer so it will take 10 second now suppose the first observer is standing just at the midpoint of the connected line line of the bulbs a and b at the midpoint means the observer is at the same distance from bulb a and bulb b and this distance is 5 lakh kilometer, uh, sorry, 3 million kilometer, that is uh, 1.5 million kilometer or 15 lakh kilometer. Now, if the flash of the bulbs reach the eyes of the observer, at the same time, the observer will say that the events are simultaneous. Okay, observer will say that, the observer will conclude that the events are simultaneous and we know that here the distances are same, so emitted lights have taken same time to reach the eyes of the observer. So with this respect we, co we can con conclude that the two events are simultaneous. Now think about second observer who is standing nearer to A nearer to bulb A. Okay. Distance is how much? 30 lakh kilometer. Say the second observer is standing at a distance of 10 kilometer from bulb A. That means he is standing 20 kilometer away from bulb B. Now for the same events where the first observer noted that, observed that the events are simultaneous. But for the second observer, what will happen? From bulb A, the emitted light will reach first to the eyes of the observer. And from bulb B, it will, the emitted light will reach later. Because distance is more. From bulb A, it is 10 kilo, uh, 10 lakh kilometer, so it will take more than 3 seconds, little more than 3 seconds to reach to the eyes of the observer. And from bulb B, the observer is at a distance of 20 lakh kilometer. So time taken by the light, emitted light from bulb B to reach to the eyes of the observer 
will be around 7 second little less than 7 second so what he has observed the second observer he has observed that the flash of bulb a has occurred first and then flash of bulb b now for the third observer who is standing nearer to the bulb b and here also this distance is 10 lakh kilometer from bulb b and 20 lakh kilometer for bulb a so the third observer will observe the just the opposite just the opposite he will observe that the event at b has occurred first and event at a has occurred next to the event of a Okay. Could you understand whatever I have explained so far? So here we can see that the two events are simultaneous or not depends upon the position of the observer. In the next lecture, I will try to make you understand that this relativity of the simultaneity depends upon the motion of the observer also. Here the observer is not moving. He is standing somewhere. The reference plane is fixed. And here the bulb A, bulb B and all the observers are standing on the same reference frame. That means they do not have any relative motion with respect to other events or other observers. Okay. All the three observers and the bulbs A and B are fixed on the reference frame. frame. And here we, we have, we can see that the observer, uh, the events are simultaneous or not depends upon the position of the observer. That is the conclusion. Okay. Thank you. In the next lecture, I will try to make you understand that this relativity depends upon the motion of the observer also. Okay. Thank you.